Oh, he takes off his chinos? Guess what he's wearing? A thong. Mm -hmm. Please, not depends. <laughs> Underoos. Ew. What pattern were they? Barney. The purple dinosaur. And by the way, huge purple dinosaur. Oh. <laughs> Are we talking about Barney? Uh, my niece just loves Barney. She just can't keep her hands off that big purple dinosaur. <laughs> well, who'd want to? <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, we know. Well, I just came in here to get my lunch. Good old ground beef and peas. Yummers. <laughs> Yummers. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Country Kristen, and I make my own clothes and food. So. <laughs> Before you laugh at people behind their back, you should think about how they'd feel if they could hear you. And that sign says no smoking. Sooner, man, but my bike got clipped by a cabbie. He had to take me to the ER. That's where I got held up, because once those nurses get a peek at Tyreek, they like to keep it broken. That was riveting. Thank you. Now, listen, I have a very important assignment for you. At a meeting this morning at the World Trade Center, as I'm going out, who do I see going in? The most unbelievable creature ever. 5'11", strawberry blonde hair, a Cindy Crawford beauty mark right here. Find her. Give her my card. You want me to find a woman who may or may not work in one of two 110-story buildings. That's why I didn't want to fill you in. It's stupid. No, it's romantic. Aldo, a Wall Street banker, babe. She was carrying a briefcase. That is so hot. Of course, I carry a briefcase. You want me? So you track it down for me? Yeah, man. I always pack my digital, so I take some snaps of different women who fit the profile. Tyreek, you are the man. Hey. <laughs> it's not a problem, man. I mean, I'm always checking out the honeys, and this time when they say, take a picture to last longer, I will. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Lunch in Luigi's, I am starving. Kristen, we're going to lunch. Be back around two. Whatever. What's with Kristen? I don't know. She's always so perky. We gotta talk to her. But I'm hungry. Hello, Kristen. Is everything all right? I'm fine. The girl's fine. Let's go. Kristen, there's something going on with you. It's written all over your face. I just think it would be nice to be friendly with the people that I work with every day. But Santa and her friends just keep shutting me out. They think because I'm not from New York, I can't be fun. Well, just tell them that. Or not. Whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Look, Kristen, Santa and that bunch, they're a fast crowd. Now, I know it hurts you when they ice you out, but believe me, you're better off without them. You know, when I was a kid, I wanted more than anything else to be a member of the Ducky Pond Boys. No, no, no Ducky Pond Boys. I'm gonna put a stop to this right now. Yo, Santa, come in here. Tom, last week I spent three hours staring at the butt crack of a telephone guy installing my intercom. Use it. You're going out with the girls tonight, right? Yeah, we Well, are. you're taking Kristen with you. It's on me. Party on. Manja. Hey. It was the strangest dream. Ron, from tech support, took me out for Philly cheesesteaks. Only they turned into armadillos, and we were in Cleveland. It's so obvious. You want your father. No, no. Lesbian dream. <laughs> We had a lesbian gym teacher back in Broken Arrow. She had the shortest hair. But boy, can she climb a rope. We're the three cosmopolitans. Yeah, she's the Virgin Mary. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hello, doctor. That is one cute Rusty Dusty. <laughs> Rusty Dusty? Is that the south end of a northbound mule? <laughs> I may not call it what you call it, but I'm a-looking and I'm a-liking. 
You're a trying and a dying. Kristen, we know you want to hang out with us, but the truth is, we like dishing and talking dirty. Okay, I'm going to tell you a joke. And if you don't think it's funny and dirty, I'll leave. Whoa, Snow White's working blue. <laughs> okay. A couple goes to a minister to talk about joining his church. The minister says, there's only one requirement. You must refrain from sex for one month. One month later, the couple comes back and the minister asks how everything went. You know, with sex and all. The husband says, week one was tough. Week two, worse. Week three, excruciating. Week four, my wife was wearing a miniskirt and dropped a cantaloupe. Well, she bent down to pick it up and that was it. I took her right then and there. The minister said, in that case, I cannot welcome you to the church. The wife said, yeah, and we're not welcome back at the grocery store either. <laughs> It's funny. Yeah, Santa, Snow White just scored. Joe, hey, Rick, you found her already? I took pictures of every strawberry blonde in the financial district, including a guy named Earl. <laughs> I can't tell anything. These pictures are all blurry. Tommy, I'm a bike messenger, man. I move when I work. Look, try, try looking at them this way. Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. Don't, don't stop that. Go back out there, Tyree. Next time when you take a picture, get off the bike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, I don't get off the bike, man. Three years ago, I parked at the buy a damn Snickers bar. I turned around and Lucille was gone. Now, I'll get off, but you're getting me a low jack because ain't no way I'm losing Whitney. Yeah. Think fast, Kristen. Who would you rather kiss, Aldo or Tommy? It depends on who has softer cheeks. Who would you rather see naked? Depends on who has softer cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I am having such a blast with you guys. See? I told you we could have fun together. Well, you were such a hoot the other night, we decided we just had to include you in our day of beauty this weekend. <laughs> Hello, beautiful ladies. Thor! Thor! Who's Thor? I'll be with you in a few, okay? And now, for the highlight of our day of beauty, a deep, relaxing massage. Oh, wait, are you allowed to have those? Of course I am. Once, when I was doing Peter Pan in Schenectady, the stagehand, he was a drinker. <laughs> Blew me right into the side of Captain Hook's pirate ship. I had to have my neck massage before every show so that my head could turn and follow Tinkerbell. Tink? Tink? Ladies, I'm ready for you now. Kristen, why don't you go first? You don't have to ask me twice. Let's go, big boy. I hope there's something left over for you girls. Look at Blondie go. That girl is game for anything. She better be. I asked Thor to finish off her massage with a little Swedish surprise. Is she gonna be okay with that? She wanted to hang with us. Let's see how far she'll go. I know what I want for my next birthday. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that I've never had a deep relaxation massage before? Yeah, you did. Oh. Am I talking too much? Just tell me if I'm talking too much. You're talking too much. Sorry, I've just never been this relaxed. Did I tell you I've never had a deep relaxation massage before? Go oh. ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. This feels. Oh. Hey! Oh. What are you doing? You are getting into very personal territory. That is my Area 51. Authorized personnel only. Santa said that uh, when the little blonde one comes in, I give her the happy ending. Happy ending? Yeah, it's part at the ending when I make you very, very happy. Shame on you. Well, it's what they paid me to do. I'm saving for a Volvo. If you don't want, I'll go to the next lady. Hold on, Thor. So Santa thinks that's what I'm getting in here? Yeah. Then that's what I'm getting. They always change their mind. 